Welcome back to the Sports Wrap. Pleased to be joined now by the University of Virginia head lacrosse coach, Lars Tiffany, formerly of Brown University. Coach, congratulations on the new job. Um, let's start with this. How smooth has the transition been to this point? Uh, it's about as smooth as could be. You know, University of Virginia, being an AC school, big time athletics, uh, immediately once I accepted the position, uh, I've had support staff reach out to me from all different parts of the athletic department. Uh, the sports psychologist reached out to me. The academic dean has reached out to me. Um, the athletic department uh, put a box together of Virginia gear and sneakers and hats because they wanted me immediately flying the colors and, and wearing the Nike apparel. So it's. Um, it's it certainly a, you can notice a difference because I've taken other jobs before, and uh, a lot of times it's like, all right, here you go, good luck. You know, Virginia is really sort of say, hey, how can we take care of him and get you best prepared to start uh, getting the best recruits and to start winning right away. Obviously, you guys were in the Final Four with Brown back on Memorial Day. How fast did the Virginia job take shape? Was it something that was in the works for a while, or was it all after that? It was really all after that. You know, we had obviously we would learned uh, as fellow college coaches that Dom Stars had been let go. You know, and that was that was mm -hmm. painful at first because Dom Starza had did such a wonderful job as a coach and a mentor for me personally, and uh, for many other men as a head coach of Virginia for 24 years and at Brown for 10 years. He's a uh, he's the reason I'm a coach. Dom Starza was uh, someone who made such an impact in my life that I could graduate from Brown, knowing that the world doesn't need another lacrosse coach but feel good about becoming a lacrosse coach because of the impact he can make with men. And so I've used him as a role model and a mentor. So to see him lose his job was, was, was hard. Um, once the Final Four wrapped up and uh, then the job search began in earnest for Virginia, we heard the, a couple names being thrown around. And uh, when the one name pulled out that was sort of the, the front runner, um, then all of a sudden I got a phone call. And so it was like, interesting. Uh, this is really, really interesting. I wasn't thinking about leaving Brown. I'm very happy at Brown. I'm excited about what's coming back to Brown next year with Dill Malloy, Larkin Kemp, Alec Tullett, and the others. Um, but I just, when I thought long term as opposed to short term, the short term, stay at Brown. When I thought long term view about the uh, objectives of winning a national championship and being at the, uh, at the elite of my profession, uh, the Virginia job was one I couldn't pass down. Last question, we heard a lot about the system when we were covering yeah. you guys this spring. Based on the guys that you'll now be inheriting at UVA, you talked a lot about wrecking havoc and you know the mayhem and all that. Yeah. Do you think who the players you'll be getting will be able to implement that system quickly? We'll have the athleticism, for sure. Uh, will we be able to replicate some of that shooting sharpness that uh, our attack of Blinn, Balestri, and Malloy was able to do. Will we win as many face-offs you know, as Garol and Allens were able to do? Will we have the goalkeeper that Jack Kelly was able to do this past year? Those are some big ifs. So I don't think it's going to be like just a seamless transition into that. But we'll have athletically, we'll have a chance to be playing fast and being aggressive because uh, for sure Dom Sarge has done a great job recruiting. It's just at Brown we had a really unique group this year and next year. So I can't tell you that right away it's just going to be a seamless flow into the new system. But we are going to implement it right away and, uh, we, and we use this term uncompromising fitness to the men of Virginia lacrosse. You have to be incredibly fit to play this way and uh, it starts now. Should be a lot of fun to watch. Unfortunately for us, we'll be watching from afar. Lars Tiffany, former Brown head coach, current University of Virginia head lacrosse coach, joining us here. Coach, congratulations and thanks for the time. Thank you very much.